This is the Trex Rain Escape installation video. This is the detail for the basic trough installation. Before installing it, it's a good idea to fold the sheet lengthwise. It relaxes the material and creates a hard V down the middle so it's easier to install. First you're going to install and slide the product up underneath the flashing making sure that the product sits on top of the ledger board. Then you'll add a couple staples on the inch and a half score mark on the left hand side if you're facing the house. You'll pull it down halfway, put another staple in halfway, and then pull it the rest of the way and finish off with your third or fourth staple. Trim the product to length making sure that you're one inch inside the edge of the funnel. Back roll the product to take out the memory and then line up the inside of the next score mark on the other joist making sure that you're using the score mark as a guideline. The reason we stress using the score marks as guidelines is because all wood is not perfectly straight and sometimes the bow and bend and the twist in the wood can change the pitch of the trough material. Once you've installed the first trough you're going to continue to the left making sure that the inch and a half score mark is underneath the adjacent trough material. We have two methods of sealing the overlaps on the trough material. One is going to be a caulking method, a 10 and a half ounce tube of butyl caulking will be applied in between the overlapping layers. The other option is you can trim off the excess material and you can use a 4 inch wide butyl tape. The tape is much easier and cleaner to install. Just peel off the non-stick back and apply to the top of the joist making sure that the tape does two things. Number one it covers the top of the joist where the screws are going to go through and it also covers up the seam where the overlapping layers to reduce wicking. Then we'll take our utility knife and where the trough material meets the downspout inside of there we're going to cut a small one inch wide by three quarter inch tab that we're going to bend down straight. The reason we do this is that it prevents water from wicking up underneath the sheet and dripping outside the funnel. Because the product is made out of polyethylene if there's a big influx in temperature from hot to cold or cold to hot it'll create and let the product wrinkle. If it impedes the flow of water we recommend using a screen spline roller to roll down the middle of the sheet to create a v-shape. This creates a nice straight path for the water to exit the trough. If you have any questions on this installation or any other questions regarding the Trex Rain Escape product please call toll-free 877-348-1385.